Hello and welcome to part seven of this 10 part series on beginner guitar songs. If you haven't seen the other six videos yet, click on the card above and that will take you to that short playlist. Okay, so this week's lesson, we're gonna be looking at There She Goes by The Last. Phenomenal song, song I've been teaching for years and he has a few strumming patterns and a few chords and it's just really, really nice. Okay, so this song is in the key of G major and the tempo is roughly one, two, five BPM, if you wanted to know that. Let's take a look at that kind of short intro riff first. Um, so what happens is it comes in on the and of four. So if you're counting, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then you go that call. So kind of the riff is a two bar riff. It kind of comes in on the and of four, if that makes sense. So if you're kind of breaking up the bar into quavers or eighth notes, so one and two and three and four, and you're coming in on the and of four. So it's one, two, three, four, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so what's happening is you're gonna put your uh, middle finger, third fret of the B string, third finger, third fret of the E string. Okay, and what's happening is you're gonna start down stroke, third fret of the B, and then you play the um, third fret of the E. These are all quavers or eighth notes, so half a beat each. So three B, three E, and then you've got your little finger, Get a big stretch on the fifth fret of the E string. And then fifth fret E. Okay, and then you're gonna do second fret E. And then back to that. So basically this is called a kind of, I call this an anchor note. So you're always gonna go back to this third fret B string. So third B, then third E, back to the third fret B, fifth fret E, back to the third fret B. Then use your first finger, take your third and your little fingers off, and then you're gonna do two on the E middle finger, third fret B, back to the third fret E, then back to the th third fret B. So you've got this so far. Three, 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 five, three, two, three, three, three. And then you take them off and you're gonna go, you got open E. That's three times, zero, three, zero, three, zero, three, then open G. And then the riff starts again. So I'll do that slowly. So. And it just repeats. And basically the, the chords that we're gonna do now are gonna go over, you're gonna start on the one. So, so it's one, two, three, four. <laughs> Again, if you're playing this in a band situation, you get one person to play the lead parts and one person to play the chords. There are also a few other lead parts later on. Um, there will be a tabs available to get on jsmusicschool.co.uk, so guitar profiles or guitar tabs uh, when the website's done. So look out for that, because there are a few other lead parts, but I just want to go through the main, main section. So that's the intro riff. So let's go through the chords. So you've got a normal G chord. First finger, second fret A. Middle finger, third fret E third finger, third fret, high E string. You've also got another G chord that I've suggested, because um, it's gonna, gonna be really useful later on, you'll see what I mean. So this is where you're playing a G with your first finger, second fret A, middle finger, third fret E, third finger, third fret B, and a little finger on third fret E. So that's gonna be easier to chop and change between that chord uh, and the C add nine. So for the C add nine, all you need to do is leave your third and fourth fingers there, and then move those middle and first fingers from the A and the E strings up to the, the D and the A strings. And that's a really lovely um, C add nine chord. Okay, so again, you strum that, uh, all your C chords from the A string. Okay, so it's a really rich sounding chord. And then you've got a D chord. So again, aim to strum it from the D string, open D, first finger, second fret G, third finger, third fret B, middle finger, second fret, E, standard D chord there, A minor chord. So open A, again strum this from the A string, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, second fret G, first finger, first fret B, and then open E. Classic chord, a normal C chord. Okay, so again strumming from the A string. Three, two, zero, one, zero. The first, second, third fingers. Uh, and then we've got an E minor seven. Really, really nice sounding chord here. So all six strings this one. Um, first finger, second fret A, 
middle finger, second fret D, third finger, third fret B, little finger, third fret E. Okay, a normal E minor chord is just your second and third fingers on the second fret of the A and the D strings. Cool, so it's not many chords, you know, you've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chords, eight chords, I think, actually there. So it's not many, which is great. So um, nice and simple. And again, these chords are going to use throughout your kind of guitar journey. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put the song structure up on the screen now as well. So these song structures should you should find it useful in order to break down all the different sections. Um, again, they're always in the description as well. Any chords in brackets means there's one or more chord in that particular bar. So um, if we take a look at the, um, the intro, so what happens is that four bar, that two bar riff happens twice. So four, uh, four times, yes, yeah, two bar riff four times. Second time. Third time, one, two, three, and then the fourth time, two, three, four, one, two, three, and on the and of three, you got this extra bit, one, two, three, and four, which I haven't put in this song structure, but if you wanted to do it, so on the end of the fourth round of that, one, two, three, and you got the drums coming in as well, one, two, three, and four, and just do three D downstrokes, okay, and then what we've got, uh, and this next two section is going to happen a lot in this song. You've got G with your first, second, third, and fourth. And the strumming pattern we're going to use is down, down, up. Okay, for this split bar. So down, down, up. So that's one crotchet or quarter note, two quavers or eighth note. So one, two, and. Okay. So you're going to do that for the G. One, two, and. And then D major, three, four, and. Okay. And then after that, so the good thing about this bit is you can kind of, after the D, you can add your little finger, then move your first finger to the second fret D, middle finger, third fret A. And then for this one, we're gonna use our down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, which we've been using in all the other videos. Okay, so that's one crotchet a quarter note, down stroke, and then you've got six quavers or eighth notes, and one of them is tied on the start of beat three. So it's down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. And this is straight timing, not a shuffle that we had in Half the World Away. So this, this kind of pattern happens a lot. It's a, actually the bulk of the song, these kind of two bars. So you've got this down, down, up, down, down, up, and then down, down, up, up, down. And you get that riff, that really awesome two bar riff going over the top of that. So it's one, two, three, four. <laughs> So if you're playing on your own, you might want to find a backing track, something like karaoke version or something like that, to have that lead riff in the background. Or again, if you're playing with a band, that's ideal. You have one person doing the lead part and one person doing the rhythm part. So once you've done that three times, again, we're in the intro now. So you've got the two bar lead riff on its own for four rounds. At the end of it, you're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and one. And once you don't do that three times, so that's two. And then number three. Okay, now we've got another split bar coming up. Again, double check with the song structures to make sure you've got all the order of the chords right. Uh, a minor to G, split bar. So down, down, up, down. We do normal G here. And normal C for a whole bar. And you've got a really cool rhythm coming up, okay? And all it is, you're gonna do downstrokes. Again, this is really good for practicing your rhythm playing as well, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna go, you're gonna count one and two and three and four and, which is quavers or eighth notes rhythm, and you're gonna miss. So you're gonna count the one, but not play it, and you're just, do, just gonna do downstrokes with the D gore. So one, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so I'll just play that last line again. A minor, G, C, one and two and three and four and. It just sounds really cool. So there's lots of stuff going on here. Of course, what I'll do is just play the whole of the intro, okay? So you've got that two bar, um, we've got that four bar riff, okay? And this is pretend we're on the last uh, bar of the fourth riff. So, two, three and four and. So three rounds of that. One more. A minor, G, C, 
two, and then one and two and three and four and. Cool, so then we've basically got the first verse, second verse, the instrumental break, and also the third verse, so all exactly the same structure. So there's a lot of repeating parts here, which is great. So once you've learned you know, those bits that we've just done, you're laughing. So, so basically the, the verses, you've got three rounds of that GD C add nine again. The only difference between this and the verse is you've got one more round, uh, sorry, the intro, is you've got one more round of the A minor G and C. Okay, so what I'm doing is just gonna do is play the entirety of the, the verse section. So this happens in the first verse, second verse, break, and then the third verse. Okay, so you got the G, D, and C add nine three times. And one more. A minor, split bar. C, and you do it again. And then one and two and three and four and. So a brilliant chord progression. Again, if you're just starting out, you've got kind of few more extra bits here than you have in the previous song so again my advice would be to if you you, you know, don't want to just want to start with this song go through stand by me mr tam remain maggie may go through some of those other songs and then come to this one and you'll find it a lot more um, achievable cool so then we've got the only thing with this song is you've got the middle eight section that's slightly different okay so the middle eight section We've just got a few different chords, and I'm going to introduce a new strumming pattern, but it's very similar to ones we've done so far. So the strumming pattern is going to be, um, you're going to start off with the E minor seven, and then C add nine. Okay, so you've got the first three bars, E minor seven, normal down, down, up, up, down, up pattern, and C add nine, then E minor seven. Okay, so now what we're going to do, is go through a different strumming pattern, which is this. One, two, and three, four. Okay, so this is a new strumming pattern. So for the rest of the song, so far, apart from the D chords, we've either got the down, down, up, down, down, up for the split bars in brackets, uh, and all the other chords are down, down, up, up, down, up, apart from the D chord, yeah? One, and then the bit just before you come in with the chords at the start. Okay, everything else is either down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, and that kind of, that kind of deep up pattern. Okay, so what we've got here in the middle eight, so it's just one more strumming pattern uh, for, for sort of four bars, I think. Okay, so the strumming pattern, you're gonna go one, one, two, and three, four. So that's one crotchet a quarter note, two quavers or eighth notes, so down, down, up, same as we've had actually had before and then two crotchets uh, on beats three and four, two crotchets or chord notes, three, four. Okay, so again, to cross-reference with the uh, song structure, so this is the bar four of the um, middle eight, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna go one, two, and, or down, down, up, and then one strum on the D, and then one strum on the C at nine. Okay, so it's not too bad. Okay, if you're just starting out, that will be a bit of practice moving the chords. But, um, okay, so that's the, the fourth bar. And they're gonna do the same thing with a G and a D now. Just one less chord change. So you're gonna go one, two, and three, four. Okay, so that's gonna go same strumming pattern as the previous bar. We're gonna go down, down, up, down, extra strum on the G. Down, down, up, down, and then down on the C chord. They're gonna do exactly the same rhythm, but for C, F9, and D. Down, down, up, down, down. And they're gonna do um, the G and D bar again. And then, and then you go back to your normal strumming pattern. Okay, down, down, up, up, down, up. C add nine. A minor, normal E minor, then C major, and then bar of D. So basically all the sections have that kind of at the end of it. Cool, so what I'll do is I'll play the middle eight, so a little bit more fiddly than the rest of the parts, but again, once you've got the first verse, second verse, break, and third verse, and the intro, that's most of the song. It's just this middle eight, there's a little bit more to it. So I'll just play the middle eight uh, sections a little bit slowly. So E minor seven, normal strumming, C add nine, E minor seven, and the split bar, one, 
two and three, four, one, two. So same strum pattern for four bars. Two and three, four, one, two and three, four. Then normal strumming pattern, C at nine, A minor, B e minor, C major, and then one and Cool, so uh, that's the middle eight. Get really good practice if you're just sort of starting out with strumming patterns and things like that, because you're mixing stuff together, which is really good. So now for the middle eight, you've got the third verse, and then the outro. So the outro is basically the same. We've got, we're still gonna do it, twist it a little bit. So you've got G, D, C at nine. It's the same as kind of all your verse sections. But what we're gonna do is for the C at nine, you're gonna do some accents. So, so what you're gonna do is gonna sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. It's gonna do downstrokes for the C at nine. Again, this is all, this is my take on the song. They might play it slightly different, but uh, I've tailored this to kind of the beginner guitar lessons kind of format. So you can do some great songs just using a few strumming pans. So, so the C at nine, again, imagine quavers or eighth notes, half a beat each, you're gonna go, one and two and three and four and. It's all downstrokes, but the first one, a little bit softer, one, and then hit the other seven with a little bit more velocity or accent them, yeah? So one and two and three and four. And it's gonna do that three times, okay? So I just play the out and then end on a G. So I just play that outro section. So, G, down, one and two and three and four and one, two and three, Four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three, four and one and two and three and, and then and on the G. Cool, so um, hope you find that useful. I think that's all the parts. Again, break it down, use the song structure, you know, slow down the, the um, when I'm playing through it. You can use a cog icon in every YouTube video, not just mine and just slow it down so when I'm playing through certain sections and then bring it all together. So the best thing for me, I think the best thing to do to start with is learn those verse sections. First verse, second verse, then the break and then the third verse. That's the main bulk of the song. Uh, and then the intro, probably outro, and then the middle eight, and then tie it all together. Cool, so if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. Any comments or suggestions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Also, I'm just relaunching my website at the moment, uh, so soon you'll be able to get the tabs. You see any tabs that you appear, appear on the screen, uh, I've tabbed the whole thing out, the lead parts and the rhythm parts. You can, it's a, Guitar Pro is a great program, but you can also get it in PDF format. Uh, and that will be available soon from the online shop and jsmusical.co.uk. So keep your eyes uh, and ears peeled out for that. Okay, so um, you should find that really useful. Uh, again, check out some of the other videos as well on the channel. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye. <laughs>